you look and troll at um, extremist online sites, extremist online sites which uh, would refer to online sites which contain the Al-Qaeda ideology, which uh, uses, distorts and manipulate uh, Islamic doctrines to uphold a, a particular agenda, which would ultimately purport um, the call for hatred and the use for, of violence to reach an objective or a goal. Um, this being used by terrorists, Al-Qaeda and its, affi its affiliates as well as sympathizers and supporters. Um, the websites which we look at, not, on, not just websites, online sites, which would refer to blogs, um, Facebook accounts, Twitter accounts. Uh, this would be meant not just by terrorist groups and terrorist individuals, but also their supporters, sympathizers, um, as well as um, um, individuals within that terrorist organization, which is not involved in the media company, but they would want to have their own blog to further disseminate uh, their propaganda. We also look at tradecraft manuals, um, be it um, guidelines on how to attack a person who is a passenger in a car or how to make your own bomb, um, guidelines on how to do operational um, things on the ground. Real These service are all attacks available on the, on the websites you look at? Yeah, they all, uh, most of the websites which we, we would look at. It's not in all the online sites which we monitor. Uh, there would be different online sites which we look at. Some would be very subtle in their messaging. Some would be very extremist uh, in that sense. The one that would be very extremist would be the forums, uh, the closed forums usually. Closed forums which contain uh, materials which would show you definitely at one glance you know that it's an extremist website. Those kind of websites are easy for me because I look at them I know that they're extremists what because do they, what do they, look like? they would um, upfront say that violence is the way. Um, they would upfrontly say that a jihad is, equate, is, is, is similar to violence. Jihad is violence. That, was, that would be the, the message that they would have. And the banners that they would have in their forums and in their front page would be those uh, pertaining to Al-Qaeda, those uh, that is said by Iman al-Zawahiri, so prominent figures in the terrorist world. So those are really hardcore extremist online sites. However, what I feel is more dangerous than these online sites, these uh, uh, private um, password protected online sites would be the other mains, mains they look mainstream but they are not, uh, more popular extremist online sites such as um, those that are manned by Muhammad Jibril, those who are manned by terrorist groups in Indonesia. They have a huge following and they're very subtle in their messaging. If I were, these are the ones that I would um, that would have, I would have to give a lot of attention to. When I look at this website, when it first appear, especially, I would take a whole day or even sometimes two to three days to ensure that they are really extremists before I put it in, in, in my list. Because I think it's a huge responsibility for me before I list them as extremists. I would have to find out who men the websites, what are their messages about, what exactly are they trying to say amidst all those uh, facades that they're trying to say. Whereby they, the first glance, if I could just give you a flow of what I see, would be the first page would be very Islamic whereby things are very subtle, things are very innocent. I, as a Muslim, would read it. They would talk about how um, I would need to do my salat properly. They would talk about how fasting is, uh, is, is the way, which is Islamic, which is nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. So, uh, for an audience who doesn't know the people behind this and doesn't really understand it before they dwell further into the websites, they would say, hey, you know, it's something that I can look into. So that first attraction is already there. They have the Islamic facade whereby they seem innocent and they seem very subtle. But as you read further, you look into the different sections and whatnot, the ultimate uh, message that, you know, jihad is violence and violence has got to be waged because of this and that, they would bring up political issues and frame it in such a way whereby it's religious and not political. That's when it's really dangerous and it, because it attracts a lot of people, not just um, the extremists but also the mainstream. Because mainstream, in a sense, would see it as Islamic and they would follow it. It's different than the um, forums which I talked about earlier whereby uh, it's a niche sort of um, uh, people and the people who would be there are the real hardcore extremists who believe in, in, in that ideology. It's mass appeal. It's their audience, uh, readership, people who look at them, they are trying to target the whole community. They have materials that are meant for academics, they have materials who are meant for the layman, they have uh, materials that are for little children, for teenagers, for women. Um, what I think is extremely um, interesting and extremely powerful is not their academic... Uh, okay, of course the academic reports, the very long ones and whatnot, do bear credentials and it gives you that sense of, oh, they make sense. And sometimes I do... I, it makes me stop and think sometimes when I look at those long articles that their arguments make sense. Uh, so those long articles are important, but I think the one that would attract people the most would be the ones that are re really simple, short, but very powerful. 
things, materials that would um, um, have your normal advertising strategies and tactics which would just have pictures and messages. Pictures and messages. A picture of a, a, a person lying on the floor, um, dead, um, other pictures of atrocities around the world, be it in Afghanistan or Iraq, in any conflict areas. They would talk about, okay, these are the people who have died, um, atrocities are happening everywhere so where were you all this while what are you doing there so they're after showing you all these grievances and uh, showing you all these things that's happening that is uh, uh, inhumane they're then asking you to take action mm -hmm.